too dark. You can't really see us. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the next moment in your life. <laughs> Dr. Richard Leakey, who is the renowned conservationist. We generally associate the threat to great apes with the mountain gorillas and the gorilla population. Yes, they are indeed threatened. But the devastation of habitat in which the orangs live in Southeast Asia is perhaps one of the most frightening examples of human abuse of the environment and negligence for an important species. And all of this is not, I would say all of this is connected to our insatiable need for products made from palm oil. And huge chunks of forest are being felled to plant plantations of palm oil which we then use in, in a variety of products in not only Western countries, but in the rest of the world. If we could find an alternative, or if we could each take a vow to not touch a product that uses palm oil, you could turn around the future of a species, which you will see, that will otherwise become extinct. Secondly, the elephant, uh, a creature that I have long association with, uh, the work, uh, Conserving them is, is partly the same habitat loss to burgeoning human population, and secondly, the insatiable lust for ivory that humans seem to still have. We stopped the ivory trade almost in its tracks 15, 20 years ago, but it's once again on the front pages and it's something that we should concern ourselves with very greatly. I cannot think of any more important documentary that IMAX could make than to show these two species up close and in the way that you're going to now see them. A lot of conservationists and scientists are dismissive of the two ladies who are with us this evening, uh, Dr. Baruti Galdaikis and uh, Dame Daphne Shelby. They, they Scientists and conservation are dismissive because they said you can't save a species by looking after the odd orphan. Let me assure you, it's not the odd orphan that's the issue. The issue is the public relations that these orphans are doing for their own species. And the work that they are doing is probably the closest way to finding a solution to public attitudes. And it's only when public attitudes change that the wild members of their species will survive. What is also important is these uh, orphans that you're going to see in this film were born to be wild, were born to be loved, and they will go back to the wild as the elephants and, and the orangs are doing if we give them enough love, not in terms of shampooing their hair or giving them bottles of milk. That's part of trying to get the public engaged. And I think IMAX is to be congratulated for producing this film with these uh, two wonderful people uh, in, in making a story that hundreds, thousands, and millions of people should see and should identify with. Let us stop buying ivory. Let us stop buying palm oil products and give two important species a chance. And hats off to the two ladies who have pioneered so much of this public relations concern. Thank you.